I'm the President of the United States. I'm not the President of other countries. I really want to be responsible for this country if it means placing very strong, uh, a very strong situation on the border so people can't come into our country from a country that is infected. But we have to focus on this country. That's U.S. President Donald Trump talking about how the U.S. might handle the spread of the coronavirus. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, countries around the world have put precautionary measures in place for travelers, especially at international airports. Here's how Canada is handling the outbreak at its airports. Although Canada has over 500 airports, new measures focus on its 10 international airports. The 10 airports have been selected by the government. The special measures are in place to identify ill travelers entering Canada and to also raise awareness in case they fall ill. These airports include Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Billy Bishop, Ottawa, Quebec, Halifax, and with extra precautionary measures being taken in Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. We are still focused on, of course, the epicenter, which is Hebei and China. We looked at uh, the key airports, the three major airports, and then the small airports that might have indirect uh, flights. Uh, from what is still the key area of the world with um, coronavirus cases. Travelers passing through these airports will notice more signage than usual in French, English and simplified Chinese, asking them to let border service officers know of any flu-like symptoms. The Public Health Agency of Canada has implemented extra screening questions in 15 languages on electronic kiosks at selected airports. Once going through the screening process, the travelers who are not showing any signs or symptoms of COVID-19 are being provided handouts, advising them to see their healthcare provider if they face any symptoms after arriving in Canada. Travelers should mention their symptoms, their travel history, and any high-risk exposure they may have had with animals or a sick person to their healthcare providers. The people who are absolutely well and asymptomatic um, are essentially provided information so that they can self-monitor. Um, passengers of Hebei um, continues to be asked to self-isolate um, with monitoring um, from local public health. And if a traveler does show any signs of infectious symptoms, staff from either border services, the airport or airline staff will inform the Public Health Agency of Canada. If a traveler doesn't have any symptoms but believe they were exposed to a source of infectious disease, then this information must be reported to Canada Border Services agents upon arrival into Canada something that is mandatory under the Quarantine Act in Canada. This is then followed by a quarantine officer performing a detailed assessment of the ill traveler. If necessary, the quarantine officer may ask the traveler to be transported to a hospital and undergo a medical exam and alert their local public health authority. The local public health authority would handle the situation from that point forward. Many Canadian international airports have also placed more sanitizing gels around their vicinity and say they're cleaning more frequently. Although the Public Health Agency of Canada says the risk to Canadian travelers abroad is generally low, all these measures remain in place as the world tries to contain this outbreak. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.